Hi, you are watching channel Mr. Electron and in this video I am going to test if we can run a 220 volts drill machine with a 12 volts battery. So this is a 12 volts battery from a UPS. Let's try and test it.
So guys, the hidden question for today is who was the first person to invent a battery? Again, who was the first person to invent a battery? So guys, here what I did in this video was I took the drill machine and removed the stator winding. After that, I used two concave magnets of the fitting size and I placed it instead of the stator winding to create a permanent magnet DC motor instead of a universal motor. Now let's test if this drill machine runs with this 12 volts battery and as you can see that it is not running. Close up, you can see that the motor armature is vibrating a little bit but still it is not running. Now let's check the resistance of the armature. This will tell us the current flow through the armature. So guys as you can see that the resistance is very high 23 ohms 23.5 now let's measure the current flow through the armature when connected to the 12 volts battery and it is only 5.1 milliamps so obviously the current flow is very low which can be increased by increasing the size of the battery voltage okay so i have increased the voltage to 24 volts which is in turn going to increase the current and you can see that the drill machine has started running. If we are going to further increase the battery, the speed will increase. So now I'm going to feed it 36 volts DC from the batteries and the speed is much better. Okay, I'm going to connect a multimeter and I'm also going to connect it to the battery which is going to tell me the drop you can see it is a 36 volts but the voltage is dropping to 22 volts let's add another battery making it 48 volts battery pack and then test it so the voltage is at present 30 volts even though it is 48 volts but the machine is running pretty good so obviously even though Placing of the magnets makes it a permanent magnet DC motor but still the resistance value is very high because of which it cannot run at 12 volts with a battery. Anyone who says or shows in a video that uh, the machine can run with a 12 volts battery is showing you the fake video. Okay, connecting the 48 volts pack, connected. It's running but the batteries are draining. You can see that the speed has slowed down. Now I have connected a 59 volts DC e-bike charger. So guys, placing this 2.7 amps 59 volts DC charger for e-bike fed the proper current and voltage to the drill machine, new DC type drill machine and it worked pretty good. So thanks for watching and don't forget to answer the question. Bye.